Don't tell member, me not to speak. Member, I refuse to have you describe in any way any member who is not able to attend any sitting in the manner that you are. Why doing. didn't you allow him to no, answer please, them when he was please, here? Please, please, that matter I will deal with at another level. No, no, if I can't ask my question freely and you want to muzzle me, you... Bless up, bless up, people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Anissa Bell Rose. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Thanks to the returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn the post notification bell on so you won't miss an upload from me on the road to 10K. So in this one, my people, big, big disagreement in the House of Parliament today as it pertains to the Integrity Commission Oversight Committee, where Mr. Warmington, who is a part of that committee, as well as the chairman, Edmund Bartlett. So big disagreement, big fight between him and Edmund. But let my people, I want to know a long time, say, Everal Warmington, Mount Nana Filter, the little man, Nana Manners, him no partial, nobody. Him storm out, him walk out of the meeting, my people. A bad him bad, sir. So here we go down, my people, and then you know, I go take in the recordings of what happened. So I go on a brief synopsis first, and then I going to hear. Drop a like on the video, my people, in the meantime. So my people, there was a sitting in the Integrity Commission Oversight Committee Tuesday after Everal Warmington walked out of the meeting accusing the chairman Edmund Bartlett of stifling the truth. Minister Warmington got so upset when he was prohibited from continuing his line of questioning about a staff member of the commission who he described as a political operative. So apparently, the chairman, Edmund Bartlett, prevented him from, you know, asking a question and, so to speak, talking in a sort of way about another person on the, on the committee, and he got furious about that. And that question, my people, was alleged to be why, you know, someone from the Integrity Commission Oversight Committee was affiliated with a member of the opposing party, People's National Party. And Mr. Bartlett shut him down by saying that they don't want anybody to raise the question with any form of defamation or um, claims upon nobody else. And at that getting mad in my people, that trigger of Everal Warmington brain in a, in a different way. And we know him have a history, him have a track record of disrespecting everybody where him come across if them, you know, try to be defensive in what he has to say. If them try to even raise a question and rebut whatever he has to say, him come off with a dirty attitude. But well, here the record is with people. The last time we were here, I asked the director if there were anyone and any senior director, the member of the senior director, that was a war politically exposed, ruling that I was going on the wrong road, I shouldn't take Paul at that line of question. You didn't give a reason. Can I ask you the reason why you make that ruling? Well, member, first of all, I think that um, one of the things that we want to ensure is that we are not pejorative. We don't make assumptions and we use this committee as a means of, as you say, ferret the truth, but not in a manner also that would be disruptive and destructive to any individual in the process of so doing. I think that what we want to do is to enable everyone to feel that whatever comes out of this committee is going to be fair and just and that it will inure to the highest level of protection of the rights of everyone. I ask specifically, let me finish. No, 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 no. I have a right to speak just as you or any other member. I ask the question of the director. Again, I state it. Whether there anyone in his team that was a politically exposed person, he didn't allow us to get to it. You rule me, then shouldn't go there. The issue I ask, and I mentioned then that Ryan Evans was a political advisor, Dr. Peter Phillips, and I might go further, that he applied, he applied member, for a please, job. Member, member. No, no. Please, please, I have member. a right to ask I the did questions. not say you don't have a right, but I'm trying to say this committee at this meeting is to receive the reports. I wish that we received the but, reports and that we treated them appropriately. Yes, but at the they same are, meeting, at, at I another, asked the question, refused uh, to allow me to. Let me finish, Chairman. You can make a statement after. You made your statement nobody interrupted you. I have the same right as you do.
Don't tell member, me not to speak. Member, I refuse to have you describe in any way any member who is not able to attend any sitting in the manner that you Why are. didn't you allow him to no, answer please, them when they were please, there? Please, please, that matter I will deal with at another level. No, no, if I can't ask my question freely and you want to muzzle me, you can keep him in by yourself. You want to muzzle me and your rulings are, you freely with no basis. Very well. You want to keep the truth from Jamaica and I'm not going to be a part of anything that you're trying to stifle the truth. Member, there is decorum and there is respect in all of these matters and I wish that you would preserve that. You are talking about the chrome thank and you, respect. Thank you very much. I ask thank the question very decently and in no rough terms. I am talking about the chrome and respect. It seems you want to encourage all form of things and it's wrong and it must not be exposed. I'm not going to be a party to anything that trumps the truth that Jamaica should know. You can keep your committee by yourself. I just want it to be very clear that if members are disrespectful of the chair and this institution and they wish to take their leave of absence let it be but i'm not going to be the chairman who condones any sort of behavior of that type and i think we have had enough of it so when you hear the saga my people when you hear the old bangarang now my question to one of my people the fact that the last statement that edmund bartlett said that you know something needs to be done will they ever reprimand Everal warmington will they ever Tell him that he's wrong and reprimand any form of bad behavior from him. Remember, he spoke to Mr. Colin Bell, the PNP's caretaker for East Portland, and him tell the man, say, you know, him not invite no chink and fly in a meeting with him. So, when me hear him storm out of the, the, the committee meeting, I me think him did ever talk up some more derogatory things. But when a sister nobody not off limits for that money, when a sister this a money, nah change in behavior, when a sister this a money, because there is no accountability framework, they can do anything and get away with it. So I want to see what the Jamaica Labour Party are going to do about this a money, behavior, in whole character, in attitude towards each and every one that will have a say so in every little thing that he's, he does. Whether they agree with him or they against what he is for. So because he didn't get the chance to tear down a next person a part of the committee, he storm out of the meeting. That is, that is not um, leadership-like qualities. And a good behavior, that. But when you talk up in the comment section, I make me know how to think my people. They may the leaders, you know, will lead the country and the younger generation to come. These are the legacy and the history with them leaders here and leave for the younger generation to come. I want to hear from the thoughts. I value the thoughts and I appreciate the thoughts. Whether one is for or against whatever is said in any of the video, I appreciate the feedback upon each and every video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel on the road to 10k run go over to my other platform instagram and facebook and follow me over there at anissa bell rose check out the youtube store make a purchase it goes in support of the channel check out the youtube membership you get a lot of benefits by becoming a member we do notification shout out in each and every video to be a part of that you have to be the first to comment and like and you'll be featured in the following video to come this notification shout out goes to Naomi Garden. So big up yourself, Naomi Garden. Big up to each and every subscriber. New viewers, come on board. Journey with me. Join the family. Subscribe to the channel. Share out some of the videos. Stay tuned for more videos. Big up on yourself.